What's going on everyone? It's Austin over here at Elevate Applicate and we are gonna take a little bit of a break from the content that's all about education. Uh, I'm still gonna put that out there but it's gonna take me some time. We're getting ready to start our season and I figured I'd make a video that pertains to what I do and also what you might be doing out there in the field. And I wanted to talk about the best insecticide for mosquito control applications. Uh, I got a couple of products here that I wanna talk about and basically let you know what I think about them. Um, how often they're used, which one's better, what might be better if you're just starting out. And, uh, you know, without further ado, let's dive into those. All right, so insecticides and adulticides are really like one of the most critical components of a mosquito control program. Uh, basically, you need to have uh, a well-rounded program where you're containing and treating the larva, the juveniles, the adults. You need it all, right? But one of the most critical components is an adulticide because that's what's gonna take care of the biting adults that are on people's properties. So in recent years, I say for the last probably 10, 20 years, uh, people have been using a product and a compound called bifenthrin. Bifenthrin is a synthetic pyrethroid. It's a fantastic product. It's labeled for a gazillion different insects out there and uh, it works very, very well for mosquitoes. And the product that I've personally been using in my company is this one right here. This is Telstar P, but you know, the bifenthrin is made by a wide variety of companies out there. So you don't necessarily need to buy Telstar, but bifenthrin, this is 7.9% bifenthrin, uh, has been a fantastic product on the market and it works very well. It's what we've been using in our traditional program. But in recent years, there has been a little bit of a change in um, some products out there and what they can do. And you might not be aware of this. I should have started from the beginning. This video is not for your average everyday homeowner. This video is for the pros, for the guys that are out there laying down chemical, licensed pesticide applicators that know what they're doing, they have their licenses, they go to continuing education and they do this every day, okay? But here's another product that you might not be aware of. This is made by the same manufacturer as Telstar. This is called Scion. Okay, get a good look at it, Scion. This, I believe, is going to be their new flagship product. And the reason for that is because of how long it lasts, okay? So if we were to look at the label of the Telstar product, you're gonna look at that label and it's gonna have various intervals that you can retreat and it's based on the amount that you use. And it's gonna be the same thing with Scion, right? Most products have intervals of treatment. You can't just go out there and use it every single day. But Talstar is anywhere from seven days if you use the low rate to 28 days if you use the high rate. And you know, you can get a month of control from it. Generally speaking, if you're getting close to that 28 day mark, even on day 21, really, uh, that's enough time for the sun to beat down on that bifenthrin and make it weak and make it not substantial and make it not really do anything. So FMC has been working on a product that is very persistent and what that means is that it lasts a long time in the environment. They claim that it has this UVX technology and apparently that makes it resistant to the solar rays that break down pesticides. If you didn't know that, the sun is really the main culprit in breaking down pesticides. Now, of course, there's gonna be microbiology that breaks it down if you're applying it in soils and things like that, but really the sun beating down on that pesticide is what makes it disappear the fastest. So this product, okay, if we compare it to Talstar, um, Talstar has a 21, seven to 28 day interval. FMC put an assurance program on Scion and they said that if you apply it at the correct rate, at the correct amount per square foot, that they guarantee 75 days, no retreat. 75 days that you should not have callbacks from your clients. That is insane. Okay, 75 days, that's two and a half months, okay? So we're talking one application of this stuff is the equivalent of about two and a half applications of Talstar. That is wild. Okay, especially from a, a business standpoint, if you could go to a property twice a year instead of you know seven, eight times a year, that's a substantial savings just in the wear and tear on the vehicles and everything else that comes with it, right? The labor 
Now you only have to go to properties twice a year, maybe three times a year, depending on where you are and what the weather conditions are. That's a substantial difference, okay? But now let's talk about the negatives of Scion. Scion is super expensive in comparison to Talstar. This bottle, if you were to go to Do My Own, and I'll put a link down below to Do My Own, uh, fantastic company online, go there, purchase products. Um, I purchase from them all the time. I just purchased mosquito dunks from them. But this is like $248, $250 on their website for 32 ounces, okay? Talstar, this gallon jug, so 128 ounces of Talstar versus 32 ounces of Scion, this bottle is $67 on their website. So you can see that this has an advantage in that it's cheaper, right? And there's even other bifenthrins that are even cheaper than this one because the patent's gone on it. So now people can use this chemical makeup. You got to weigh it out, right? What one's best for you? Um, we intend to use a hybrid model this year. In my company, Ditch the Itch, Poison Ivy, and Mosquito Control Services. We're going to do our initial application with Talstar because we don't have a lot of foliage when we're out there doing our initial application here in April. And then in a few weeks' time, uh, we're going to be laying down some Scion on our properties. And if, if it is true what FMC states, 75 days, no retreat. So really, we shouldn't have to treat for a long time. Now, we're still going to come and supplement because we still need to serve our clients. We still need to be out there in the field. And we'll probably supplement with applications with this because it's just, it's so cheap. But if the goal is to serve your clients and reduce the mosquitoes, you might want to think about changing your products and looking at new products, you know. And again, insecticides and adulticides, they're not the only thing that you need to do in a mosquito control program. You also need your larvicides. You also need your insect growth regulators. You need a lot of different aspects and angles. You need to be able to communicate with your clients and say, hey, look, you need to alter your environment. You got a bunch of standing water over here. You got um, bird baths that the water's never been changed in, right? You need to empty those because those are larvicide areas. You got gutters that are off. You got uh, drainage downspouts from your gutters that are full of water that are perfect breeding grounds for thousands of mosquitoes. So you need to have good communication with your client. But I just want to make this quick video, talk about some insecticides, talk about some products. Like I said, if you're interested in them, if you want to purchase them, I'll put a link down below here for, for Do My Own. Um, you know, if you want to try them out, try them out, see what people say. So other than that, that's all I got. We'll get back into the education, you know, further on down the line, probably later this fall, late summer, when, whenever my season starts to die down. Again, I forgot, we got like 450 subscribers now on this channel, which is friggin' awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. It really means a lot to me, and I look forward to serving you guys. So take care and God bless.